Hi, it's Rob Heppel from Funeral Futures Websites, and today I want to share with you an exclusive resource for Funeral Futures website clients. Now, we've talked a bit in the past about creating a collection of immemorial images that you can use on your website uh, for when the family doesn't have a picture of the deceased and you don't want to just use your stock immemorial image. So we, this will give you the option to choose from about 100 images uh, for your website. And uh, what we do, we have them in five groups. We've got a um, religions category, we have a military category, we have a groups category, we have a flags category, and we have a sports category. And then we've also created five different styles. So one is a beige silver border, one a, is a black border with a faint black line, one is the gold border with the shadow, one is a maroon border, and one is a navy border. And to use these, very simple, all that you do is hover over uh, which one suits your theme the best, and right click, and then just choose save as or save link as. And this is a zip file, which is just a compressed file. and just save it in, onto your computer. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, unzip the file and usually you can uh, right click and you're gonna have some options come up. They'll say unpack or extract. So here, um, just with the utility that I have, it says extract here. And so now it then has all of the images in this folder and you can see that there's uh, a number of different flags, a number of different groups, a number of different uh, military emblems, a number of different religious emblems, and uh, a number of sports emblems. And again, we're going to add to this but we just wanted to get this out to you as quickly as possible. Plus, also, we need to be mindful of copyright issues and things like that. So it's not uh, just as easy as going and searching on Google for images and using those because that, um, that is not allowed. So now, um, how to add these, um, what you can do is you can either add all of them or maybe if there's something that you'll never use, you don't need it to add it. But all that you would do is then um, select all of the images. You can press uh, Control A which is select all, and we'll just save that here, kind of just off half the screen. And then go into your dashboard, and you're going to go to media, and um, you can either go to the library or just add new. And what you want to come up with is the, the, the new media uploader. So if you have the old one that looks like this, switch to the multi-file uploader. And then what you can do is actually just drag if you got them selected. And so you can see it's going to drag 65 images and just drop them here. And you can see these are being now uh, added to the website. So now all these are added. And it's very simple to use. So if you were to, if you were going to create a new uh, a new post, and if you're going to um, then choose the image, instead of uh, adding the new image, you would go to Media Library, and then what you would do is. You know, you could scroll through these, but also uh, I put in some keywords. So say if you wanted to have hockey, you can hit search and the hockey one will come up. And depending on how your uh, theme works, either you can um, copy the link here and put it into the custom field or you can create that as a 
uh, use it as a featured image if that if your theme um, uses featured images and that's it so all of those are there you can always go back and uh, uh, search for um, search for other things as well um, or you can scroll through them but uh, it's just it's just easier to search through them since there's um, uh, quite a few dozen in there so that's it um, and just one thing to make sure that you don't share these images with um, uh, with anyone else uh, outside of your company because again these are just licensed to current funeral futures website clients only let me know if you have any questions this is rob heppel